eat. This thing of yeah, I don't eat salsa. Mm, mm, I my parents didn't. Do, I don't like salsa. My parents never forced me not to eat salsa when I was growing up. My friend, you're missing out. Hmm. welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to be doing okay basically i am going to be showing you the traditional foods that you should you know definitely look forward to eating in Zimbabwe. you should actually taste you should check out if you haven't and if you have actually tasted them you should keep on eating them and embrace our culture so today i'm going to start with my supper it's my meal okay so today i'm having sadzer vegetables beef stew and basically like i'm gonna eat it and also talk about the different meals that you should definitely check out then i'm gonna have my dessert and my snack okay so basically i have a few pictures that i'm going to be posting which i really do not have right now and i just generally want you to know about them and yeah i hope you guys are staying safe in this lockdown i hope you guys are eating healthy like you know so I as I'm eating my salsa you know I'm actually quite hungry as I'm eating my salsa this thing of uh, I don't eat salsa because I live in Zimbabwe I don't eat salsa so this for this for ghetto people excuse me salsa is for everybody <laughs> mm-hmm mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now don't judge the way I eat salsa when I eat my salsa, I eat the the salsa. I take the salsa, put the veggies, the soup, and then the meat. So don't judge the way I eat my salsa. Anyways, the first picture that you guys are gonna see, this is white mihinu salsa. Some people prefer salsa shio and I'm gonna Google and show you. I'm gonna translate for people who don't know Shana, because salsa shio and it's like black. And then other people have Sadarima Funde, which is like a bit yellowish, grayish. But I like this one better. Mm -hmm. So basically, the first picture that you guys are gonna see is um, Sadarima Funde with vegetables, beans, and chicken legs. Makumbe Vuku. And. Why am I sounding like I'm South African? Makumbe Vuku. I agree. And then, yeah with beans so let me tell you the secret with Zimbabwe we usually eat beans with sadza and vegetables sadza vegetables chicken sadza vegetables beef we have sadza vegetables chicken legs the uh, mazondo maguru matumbu shkangana hama all those things you know these are gizzards intestines cow feet i don't know i guru i don't know but basically i'm gonna eat my sadza Mm -hmm. This thing of hey, I don't eat salsa. Mm -hmm. I my parents didn't. Do, I don't like salsa. My parents never forced me not to eat salsa when I was growing up. My friend, you're missing out. Anyways, the next video is picture. We're missing video. The next picture is salsa, my veggie, beans, and. Oh, they called my chamber. I was about to say sardines, but then that's not what they're called. So basically, like people eat that, and I did eat that. There's also rice nedovi. Rice nedovi is like rice with peanut butter. Then you like it's like you're cooking rice. Then you over over cook it. Then you like you dry it up a bit. Then you add your peanut butter. Then you like you cook it like a cooking salsa. And there you go, voila. Basically, this is my dessert. And this is milk, right? So what Zimbabweans do, I put sugar in my milk because I really don't like milk without sugar. It doesn't taste nice for me. So I put sugar. I'm just going to mix it up. Mix it up, mix 
it up, mix it up. Yo, I'm gonna mix this up. I feel like I'm baking. Then I take my salsa, put it in the milk, put it, put it in the milk. Then you just put it in the milk. This is like my dessert. Then you just mix the salsa. And they mix. Some people like take the salsa and they take the milk. I just find that so complicated. Like I just mix everything up. Like so, they mix everything up. It looks like ice cream, but it's not. I used to think it was ice cream when I was growing up, but you know, hey, I was surprised when I started tasting salsa in the ice cream. I'm like, how does salsa and ice cream? <laughs> you know, but. Okay. Mm. Come on. Oh, because this is nice. Zimbabweans, I'm proud of our traditional food. I'm so proud because this is delicious. And here's a trick this is not fish milk that we just pour. This is sour milk. Or other other chocolate. Ah, I know that. I know that. Is it Devil or Zulu? I, don't, I know the Devil name, but. I don't, I forgot it, you know, but then it's called the Kakaka Koda, it's sour milk, it's like milk that is like pasty, it's like ice cream, but it's not ice cream, people, please. This is a snack, this was supposed to go in the video about the Zimbabwe snacks, but you know, it happens, I didn't prepare the nuts, so basically these are roasted nuts, like basically I roast them, and then in the process of roasting them, when they're now like, okay. I, I know, I can't say when they're not ripe. I want to say so I'm gonna say Shona. Right? So when the nuts are not roasted, you take your water, mix it so, let it dissolve in that. Some people mix the water with salt, some people just pour, like they put the salt onto the nuts, then they put the water, then they mix, mix, mix. You can do it however. Then I start roasting them again until the salty water is dried on the nuts. And voila! Nice. Traditional foods like it's nice. I don't need salsa. I don't need beans. I don't drink milk. I don't eat this. I don't. Oh. Guys, because the exceptions, I'm definitely judging you right now because mm -mm, this is this is like this is you slapping away our culture tradition. Huh? No, I eat chicken and chips, no lasagna, pizza, burger, that's my jam. My friend just in Um, Biltong, mixed in peanut butter, you should really try that out. It tastes nice with meat. You will, you will die. You will die eating it. In a good way, though. Not like you will die from food poisoning, but then, ah, uh, it will go down. It will go down. Uh, trust me, Biltong, I'm like, ah, oh, Biltong, you eat it by its own, but if you put it with peanut butter and you really mix it up and... I bow you enjoy life you enjoy life and guys you need to try out these things these things Zimbabwean food is amazing I won't even lie like it's, it's not it's, it's it's unique it's unique and you need to embrace your culture you need to embrace your traditional food because nobody else is gonna do that for you you know anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in I hope that you just subscribe to my channel I know you it's maybe your first time doing you know on my channel just subscribe if you're regular if this is your second time or your third time on my channel and you haven't subscribed we need to pray against those spirits that are hindering you from subscribing to my channel just subscribe to me my english doesn't love me oh, subscribe to my channel please 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 don't hesitate to subscribe if you don't subscribe i'm gonna be praying for you so that the next time you come back you will subscribe to my channel thank you my family for you know subscribing thank you so much guys for tuning in until we meet again ciao